Hello everyone, it is that time of the week again. Today is Friday, April 5th, 2019. Uh, I'm Roger Veer, CEO of Bitcoin.com with my usual co-host, Corbin Fraser. Back again. And sometimes special guest, our yeah. CTO of Bitcoin.com, Emil Oldenburg. Thank you. And for all those that are wondering, including myself, even though I've known you for like four or five years now, <laughs> is it Emil or Emil? Uh, Emil. Emil, that's what I always thought. But if a French person would say Emile, I, I like don't call I hear him. so many people always calling you Emile. But anyhow, glad, glad Emil to have you Emil. should be so. the American way. Well, lots of awesome news this week. Like really, really big news. Where do we want to start, Corbin? Uh, I guess we should start from the top. We got the, uh, of course, the huge, huge Bitcoin cash rally. Uh, big price <laughs> yeah. increase over the last few days. Uh, what was it? It was up 60% over like... Like a 24 hour 24 period or so. Period. Yeah. yeah. So. Uh, pretty exciting. Feeling time. pretty good. <laughs> so, the, off, the office was kind of giggling. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. nice to be leading the rally up because yeah. <laughs> occasionally it leads the rally down too. Yeah. So, yeah. but uh, utility is what drives long-term price. Mm -hmm. and, like Bitcoin Cash has so much awesome utility and so yeah. many awesome mm -hmm. things being built on top of it. So, yeah. The other thing we've got coming up is the uh, blockchain documentary series, uh, which was recently released. Uh, we've also got a, uh, of course, this is something we've all been expecting. Uh, Bitcoin Core uh, unconfirmed transactions are as well on the rise. We've got uh, Honest Pop Cash. Pop the champagne. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Honest Cash is adding content paywalls. And uh, this one's pretty exciting. Uh, the first SLP token listed on, on an exchange. So yeah. um, might as well start from the top here. We'll, we'll start with the, the market rally. So Bitcoin Cash jumped uh, over 60% April 2nd within uh, 24 hours, leading the cryptocurrency rally. Uh, BCH joined the top five largest cryptocurrency with an uh, overall market cap of around 5.1 billion on Wednesday. I don't know if you guys saw, but there was also a little bit of flipping happening yeah, between. Yeah. I uh, think there'll be a lot more flipping BCH in the future Litecoin, between yeah. Uh, yeah. BTC and some other coins. It, so. it feels good to have BCH <laughs> uh, higher than Litecoin. Yeah, yeah. That's. Uh, I mean, I, I still find it really ironic that the Bitcoin maximalists are somehow okay with other. They hate all all other coins except for Litecoin and Monero and, Monero and, and, and the Grin. Yeah, yeah they're, was, they're not very consistent. Yeah, yeah. It's really yeah. strange. Uh, the famous uh, at Bitcoin Twitter account tweeted a, a list Not highlighting. Not owned by me or Bitcoin.com, <laughs> for the record. So. Yeah, I, I have never seen Roger tweeting as as at Bitcoin or anyone around here tweeting as that. Um, actually, I think you know who's behind it, but I I, I've yeah. tried bugging you who it the is, but I still don't know. The <laughs> owner is someone that's been involved in Bitcoin since 2009, so long before all these, you know, people that are hostile to Bitcoin being a peer-to-peer -peer cash system that managed to hijack the project with the BTC ticker. <laughs> uh, so just just like myself, I've been around longer than most of those people. So is the owner of the at Bitcoin Twitter account. Yeah, so he uh, he or she uh, tweeted a list highlighting some of the amazing things happening. Oh, there's a guy <laughs> <laughs> happening a guy. on Bitcoin Cash blockchain. So yeah, they highlighted this great list summarizing everything from Cash Shuffle, SOP tokens, cash accounts, the upcoming Schnorr signatures being added in on the May hard fork. Uh, Cointext, local.bitcoin.com, thriving community and active developers, and the countless ways to earn Bitcoin Cash online. Speaking of one, it's not in our notes, but let, let's talk about that app uh, to earn free Bitcoin Cash. You were emailing back and forth. Yeah, Bitcoin yeah. Bitcoin Aliens, right? Bitcoin what's, Aliens. What's the name of the app? The app, I... I'm, I'm a fan of Aliens and Bitcoin, yeah, so Bitcoin <laughs> Aliens is just perfect. I was right? playing around with it. Uh, it is free Bitcoin Cash, and it's on the Android app right now. And yeah, it looks like it's kind of like a little gamified way to... Uh, uh, do you like zap aliens to win Bitcoin you, you Cash? Don't. Like you watch ads, or how, do, how does it work? Basically, so, I think there is a little bit of ads involved, and, and you kind of roll the dice. It's like a memory game? Uh, yeah, so and you, like, you can kind of spin play? for prizes. We'll, yeah. we'll, we'll put a link in the show notes. <laughs> yeah. so you can download the, the free Bitcoin Cash app from Bitcoin mm. Aliens and, uh, yeah. and get some free Bitcoin Cash in addition to our free.bitcoin.com where we're giving away free yeah. Bitcoin Cash. Kind of, kind of an there, there was another app uh, back in the days uh, where you could, or they also had the, the concept of uh, proof of play oh, cool. where you would get uh, Bitcoin BTC. Yeah. And yeah. it was like uh, the Saru game. You throw the monkey. <laughs> It was like way, to, 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 way before Sar the fork. Saru Tobu or something was the name in Japanese, like Flying Monkey or something. I, <laughs> yeah. I think I'm a long time ago, like 2013 maybe or no something. kidding. Yeah, and the more you play, the more the more uh, BTC you got. Cool. Just like CashGames.com, the more you play, the more you could win, <laughs> the more you might lose also. But give, and but you could actually you can earn money with the affiliate system. Go to CashGames.Bitcoin.com, I think slash affiliates, or just click the affiliate link. And for every other person you send to that website, you can earn up to 25% of the house edge on that. So we'll, we'll plug that while we're at it. Mm -hmm. 
Um, so next up, uh, I know one of your favorite topics to talk about, uh, Bitcoin Core, uh, growing network congestion. Uh, so Told you so. Yeah. <laughs> so with the increase in prices and transactions across the crypto space, Bitcoin Core is already showing significant network congestion with a growing number of unconfirmed transactions in the BTC mempool. Uh, withdrawals and transactions have again become extremely expensive and very difficult to complete. Uh, CoinPot recently released a statement to users canceling pending BTC transactions and recommending users convert their Bitcoin Core to another cryptocurrency like Bitcoin Cash to avoid these issues entirely. I think more businesses should do that. Yeah. So, and yeah. If you're still building on BTC, you are guaranteeing your customers are going to have a bad user experience the next time the blocks are full, which is right now. So if you don't want your customers to have a bad user experience, you need to be recommending they use something other than BTC. And from our point of view, Bitcoin Cash is awesome. We have BitPay, Coinbase, Blockchain and Info, Bitcoin.com. All these merchants, all these websites, more than 100,000 websites except on the internet. Travela, yeah. Dest, what's the other one? Destina, Destinia. Destinia. Uh, there's one more uh, travel site. Cheap, Cheapair.com, cheap of yeah. course, another early one. Uh, all sorts of fantastic websites mm -hmm. using Bitcoin Cash. So uh, if you don't want your customers to have a bad user experience, tell them to switch from BTC to BCH. So Or any coin that works. So. I think the fees, uh, last I checked, they were around, what, $2? Yeah, but yeah. For, that's for any like individual user. But if you're mm -hmm. a business using a multi-signature wallet, the fees are always more. So just uh, earlier this week, I think two days ago now, I, we had to move some BTC that we had mined in the mining pool. I paid just under $4 to move that BTC. At the end of 2017, I was paying over $1,000 in fees of transaction yeah. for like multi-signature wallets with multiple inputs. Thousand dollar fees were common, and yeah. I was moving at, those BTC yeah. right to an exchange to sell for Bitcoin Cash. Yeah, at the peak, we were paying thousands of dollars every month in yeah. BTC transaction fees. Yeah, I think I think hundreds of dollars, maybe thousands of dollars. I think we were paying over a thousand dollars a day at certain points for the payouts with the mining pool at one point. So, mm. yeah, yeah, pretty pretty. Oh, it's only twenty. You only have to pay out twenty people at fifty dollars per input. So. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but yeah, pop the champagne, right? <laughs> and for those that don't know yeah. what that reference is, the Bitcoin core developers, they literally openly say they want the fees to be high. And Greg Maxwell, the CTO of Block, Block Stream, Block Stream, openly said, I don't know about you guys, but I'm popping the champagne to celebrate the high fees. And he spelled champagne wrong. He spelled like, <laughs> the, like the city, not the drink. I, I, so. I, th I think he spelled the word campaign a little too too often. <laughs> Maybe he sent that yeah. word out to his uh, army of trolls. So if you're someone that thinks a cryptocurrency should be like fast, cheap to use and reliable, BTC is not for you because the, the core developers behind it openly say they want the fees to be high. So if you want the fees to be low, switch to Bitcoin Cash. Well, so. and I think it, it's really funny how quick peop, people forget because I, I remember when I first got into Bitcoin, what excited me most was this idea of, of, of these new economies of microtransactions, of being able to monetize content and bypass, you know, the, the kind of status quo of like ads and just pop-ups and being able to monetize content and provide content creators with ways to earn income without needing to spam your users with, you know, just more more ads from Google or Facebook or whoever. Um, and they've quickly forgotten that you, you, I mean, you just can't do that with BTC. With high fees, uh, with yeah, high fees, it, Or with Lightning no Network, you yeah. can't do it either, so. So, I mean, yeah, it's, it's really a shame how quick people can kind of kind of forget that that was that was once upon a time a, a really interesting idea and the only only place to do that now Bitcoin Cash. Yeah, I, I was talking via direct message with some guy earlier today that like he only got involved in cryptocurrency in 2017. He's like, all I ever saw online was negative stuff about Bitcoin Cash, and so I just assumed it was a scam and something stupid. But after looking into it, it does have more Bitcoinness about it than yeah. the, the coin that everybody's calling Bitcoin. And like, uh, mm -hmm. I don't think he hates it anymore. He kind of yeah. realizes, that, oh. Maybe those Bitcoin yeah. Cash people have a point. So, and I think he was stunned when he realized after I pointed out to him that the Bitcoin core developers for BTC version of Bitcoin they want the fees to be high. I need to say that over and over and over. The BTC core developers want the fees to be high, and if the fees are low, they're they're failing from their point of view. So they want the fees to be high. So if you want your fees to be low, switch to something other than BTC. So. I think the recent bull rally and seeing Bitcoin Cash lead that that charge, yeah, it, it was pretty. People, it was pretty cool. Yeah. But I think it really highlights that, in spite of all of the propaganda and all of the hate and all of the lies and deceit, that's you know that, that anybody the, that that's the paying core, attention knows yeah. Bitcoin Cash is awesome. We have Cash yeah. Shuffle for privacy. We have fast, cheap, reliable transactions. We have awesome acceptance. Yeah. We have a huge network. We have Bitcoin.com behind it. All sorts of stuff like yeah. Cash Shuffle is a big deal. We talked about it last week, mm. but like. You have privacy on Bitcoin yeah. Cash now. Bitcoin Cash is a privacy coin at this point. Like that's <laughs> friggin' awesome. Uh, BTC, it's impossible to do that because the fees are too high. And you hear people talking about 
some wallet on BTC that can shuffle your coins, but you're gonna pay like tens of dollars to do that. Uh, on Bitcoin Cash, you can do it for tenths of a cent. Mm. Hello. So, and I don't think the mempool on BTC will get any better for it. Like, no. like what what every bull run has taught us is that every bull every new bull run is always bigger than the last one. And that's I think that's so, going to come to an end with BTC at some point when people yeah. figure out like, hey, other coins work better. Yeah, because because there's a ceiling, and BTC yeah. will hit this hit this hit the ceiling pretty They've been soon. Bumping right up against it for. Yeah, so well, something like we'll, we'll, have, we'll have weeks and months and maybe like yeah. full year of uh, congested mempool and BTC. And people like at some point, that people just uh, abandon it. The, but uh, remember, they want the mempool to be full. They want the blocks to be full, which cause expensive, slow, unreliable transactions. That's what they want on BTC. Yeah. It's not, it, not only is it what they have, but it's what they want. And they want it to be even worse than it is today. So if you want something that works for payments, you're looking for Bitcoin Cash or something other than BTC. And, well, and what happens when the happening happens here? You know, are we going to see more congestion? Are we going to see? Is, is there? It doesn't any... have the box size, mm. so it'll be an interesting kind of uh, planned. Uh, the last couple event. of times, it, mm. it popped the price up, is what happened. So, yeah. but Bitcoin Cash will hit the happening before yeah. BTC. Yeah, sounds about ten so. days, maybe. Or so. That's kind of what I heard. I'd have to check yeah. then. Well, maybe maybe Luke Jr. wants to. Uh, like cut the block size in half next halvening as well. Yeah, I, I hope they start a UASF 300 <laughs> yeah. kilobyte campaign. Go to 300. So, yeah. let's, see, let's see what happens. <laughs> Please do it. Yeah, it'd be an interesting experiment at least. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so the next item we've got on our list here, uh, Blockchain, a documentary series released on Amazon Prime. Uh, so this uh, six episode docu-series by, uh, it's called Ris Risky Presents uh, Blockchain. Uh, focuses on how blockchain technology can change the current fiat system. Episodes one and six will feature highlights of Bitcoin Cash as well as an interview from Sean Walsh from Hyperblock discussing past Bitcoin forks. And someone on Twitch, we stream this uh, live at about 5 p.m. every single Friday from Japan. Uh, Zwet says, check out Colin's YouTube tutorials for Electron Cash and Cash Shuffle. So uh, I've seen some of those tutorials. Uh, We'll put a link to those tutorial videos in the description below as well. So like uh, start using Cash Shuffle in the Electron Cash wallet for now and we'll have it in the Bitcoin.com main wallet pretty soon here as mm -hmm. well. Like privacy on Bitcoin Cash, like awesome. Yeah. So, uh, so go check out this Amazon series and uh, let us know what you guys think. Uh, the show is part of a growing uh, group of new documentary series that are focusing on blockchain and cryptocurrencies. And uh, actually that same fellow, Colin, I believe, has been in the works on a, on a, on a bit of a uh, documentary. So... Yeah, it should be it should be interesting. Lots of lots of exciting stuff to watch. I think uh, in in 2019 and 2020. Uh, next up, we've got Crescent Cash. This is uh, a cash account native wallet. It's a new open source Bitcoin Cash wallet called Crescent Cash, which uses that new Cash Accounts protocol. You guys might have seen kind of kicking around. People were kind of waiting in line trying to register uh, register uh, uh, their own their own kind of namespace there. Um, so Crescent Ca Cash is open source, non custodial. And like traditional BCH wallets, and the application also supports the standard BCH address format, uh, Cash Adder. And the uh, ca Crescent Cash Wallet creates Cash Accounts username for users after choosing a handle. Um, this new developer, he's actually a recent convert from the BTC camp mm. um, by the name of Poxt. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. He's been all over Twitter. P O K K S T. -O -K -K -S -T. Go, XYZ. go follow him on Twitter. He's a really interesting guy. Uh, I believe he's in a non developer. And uh, yeah, he recently jumped, jumped ships after seeing that. Lightning was the only thing that BTC core maximalists were all kind of saying is the only way to scale, and he kind of mm -hmm. saw that this is insane, and I'm going to move all my months. stuff. Maybe yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, the Lightning Network is the only thing that they have going for them. The problem is it's not going for them. It's really not going for <laughs> That's them. That's a good yeah. quote. So, uh, yeah, thank you, Crescent Cash, and thank you, Pox, uh, for adding the cash accounts, which is awesome. Uh, let's see some uh, SLP tokens in your wallet there next. Yeah. That would be really fun. So... Um, Speaking of that, actually, we should probably interject in there. So, like, the Badger Wallet mobile version is just about ready. We'll put, as I say this, uh, we'll put it on screen right now. You can see a demo version <laughs> right there. Like, the tokens in Bitcoin Cash going in and out are working right now. Uh, that's a pretty big deal. Yeah, so, very exciting stuff. So, we yeah. should probably uh, give a little give a little shout out to Gabriel and his team and yeah, Peter and great work, everyone Gabriel else. And Peter yeah. And, yeah, and a couple of guys over there. So, yeah. the, and... Uh, the SLP team as well. So, yeah, yeah. James and those guys. Yeah, mm -hmm. so pretty exciting stuff. Uh, Honest.cash. Uh, for those of you guys who don't know, Honest.cash is kind of like a, a way for you to earn Bitcoin Cash. You can share articles, share content. Uh, think of it kind of like a, a Bitcoin Cash enabled uh, on Medium or um, yeah. But basically, they've added paywalls, so you can now go in and 
write some content, lock up a little bit of the premium content behind a you know a dollar paywall, and earn a little bit of extra income while you're uh, providing content and sharing high valuable content to the world. Um, CEO Adrian Barwicky recently introduced the upgrade, hoping that paywalls will provide users with direct sales from writer to reader, enabling content creators to generate additional income, potentially leading to a primary source of income for writers, which I think is part of what this is all about, finding some new, uh, new economies. New yeah. economies, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so along with addition, uh, the addition to paywalls, uh, users can also earn Bitcoin Cash uh, by unlocking content, upvoting content, and upvoting popular content early. So if you're an early upvoter, you actually earn some of that uh, content uh, as well, which is kind of an interesting little uh, economics game there. So I guess uh, the last two kind of tie together. So one really good thing that uh, you know I've been a big supporter of for a long time, and it was the thing that got me interested in Bitcoin for the first time, was I heard that people were buying and selling things without permission on the Silk Road with Bitcoin. And so I wasn't interested in the things that they were buying and selling, but I was interested in what kind of money are they using for this. And the guy that set all this up uh, named Ross Holbricht, uh, he's currently condemned to die in prison. He will die in prison unless he gets a pardon from the President of the United States. That's the only way for him to avoid dying in prison, living in prison until the day he dies. He's 35 years old currently, so maybe he has another you know, 50 years to go until he dies in prison, unless he gets a pardon from the United States President. So uh, thankfully, there's over 150,000 people out there that have signed this petition uh, saying, hey, Mr. President, let Ross Holbrook out of, uh, out of prison, right? This guy's a hero. He's not a criminal. He's already served, what, six years now or something yeah, like that, yeah. I think? Uh, let him out. This guy's a genius entrepreneur. Like, he started one of the most successful startups ever. And it's not just myself who thinks that. Like, so Tim Draper, one of the most successful venture capitalists ever, is saying the exact same sort of thing. Uh, so anyhow, uh, if you haven't already signed the petition, go and sign it. I was one of the first thousand people to sign it, I think. And I'm, I assume so both you guys have mm -hmm. signed it. Yep. yep. Go out there, sign it, and then share the link to the petition with uh, your own social media and Facebook. So we, let's get it up over a quarter million, right? We got 150,000 so far. Let's get it over a quarter million and then half a million. And then uh, before you know it, uh, I think there'll be enough pressure where maybe the president will let him out. And uh, I don't know how public it is, but uh, I guess I can let it slip a little bit. We're planning a big benefit concert for Free Ross happening in L.A. a little bit later this year. I'll figure out exactly what would like major, major brand name celebrities on board that'll be performing at this concert and uh, I'll figure out maybe next week we can give a lot more of the details for that uh, but like that's happening that's coming together that's in LA as well so um, which ties us into other fun like mm -hmm. liberty loving news so uh, the very first Bitcoin cash based token has been listed on an exchange now right that's pretty so, cool we knew it was gonna happen we knew it was gonna happen yeah. and, and uh, like a fantastic part about it is the token is probably one of the most liberty oriented tokens around it's the token called a merit token from Liberland. So you can visit liberland.org. For those that don't know, Liberland is a slice of land between Croatia and Serbia that both countries claim didn't belong to them. So another guy named Vit came along and said, okay, I'll claim that. We'll start the world's first uh, you know, libertarian nation there. And so Bitcoin.com has been super supportive of them, both financially and you know, through our actions as well. Uh, for a couple of years now, we bought them a big houseboat and all sorts of stuff. And uh, anyhow, their tokens are on Bitcoin Cash and you can trade them now. At, uh, at Alt, how do you say this domain <laughs> name, right? Uh, uh, Altly. Altly? A L T I L L Y dot com. And the ticker symbol is LLM. We'll put links to all that in the show notes there as well. But like that's a really big deal. And you'll be able to send and receive those tokens within the Bitcoin.com wallet here very, very soon as well. You can do it today with the Badger wallet from badger.bitcoin.com. So. Yeah. And if any other exchange want to list uh, SLP tokens as well, uh, you can always reach out to, to us, uh, Bitcoin.com. Developer. Me and our Gabriel's team, yeah. uh, we're always happy to help. Uh, we actually have been talking to a few exchanges and explaining to them how to make their, their Bitcoin Cash wallet token aware. Mm -hmm. So they can use our API. We have a fully documented API. So as soon as you receive a opportune output with that is a, an SLP token. You just mm -hmm. call our API to check if the token is valid and then you can uh, add a token to your exchange. That's awesome. So Yep, and we have lots more big tokens and listings uh, in the <laughs> works already. So, uh, But the Liberland token listing caught me by surprise today, to be honest. So 
Uh, we're almost to the end of the show, but Emil, you've been nerding out on your nerdy CTO stuff all yeah. week. <laughs> what are you the most excited about that's happening in the Bitcoin Cash ecosystem? Um, I'm really excited to try out uh, the new Schnorr signatures. Uh, we have it's we're currently we're currently uh, working on uh, and getting a, a um, the testnet block is up and running on, on Bitcoin. Can you explain it like I'm five? What is a Schnorr signature and why should I care about it? A uh, Schnorr signature is a, a new way of signing uh, um, signing a message uh, cryptographically uh, and the what makes Schnorr signatures interesting um, for the layman is that these signatures are smaller, mm. so it will be cheaper to, to transact. Uh, later on, you can also aggregate signatures, so it's it will be more private. Right. Uh, the the more private uh, signature features will not be available in May, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, for cool. for now it will be at least smaller, yeah. and, and also uh, it will uh, stop malleability. So ah, Bitcoin Cash will get a malleability fix before nice. BTC. Oh, the irony! Oh, the sorry. burn! The burn! Sorry, the burn. that is not in a not in an extension block. <laughs> the burn! The burn! The burn! <laughs> like BTC had to build an extension block to fix malleability, <laughs> while BCH we we would take yeah. the Ether route and do a hard fork instead. Yeah. So, um, actually, one user on Twitch. This is kind of funny. So, Cheesefo uh, says, Roger, do you have any plans to come to Korea again? My wife told me you were at the Apple retail store last year, but I was out of st uh, out of the store at that time. So. I know exactly. I remember this very clearly. I walked into the Apple Store in Korea a while ago now, <laughs> wanted to buy something or other, and there's the greeter at every Apple Store, right? And as soon as I walk in the store, the greeter, some Korean girl, she looks at me. I wasn't wearing. I was just wearing a normal shirt, and she looks at me, and the first, she points at me, and she goes, "Bitcoin Cash." <laughs> and I was like, "Whoa!" Was she angry about Bitcoin no, Cash? No, she was really oh, happy, okay. and she said her husband is a big fan, who I assume is in in our. Uh, our uh, Twitch Twitch chat at the moment. So, oh, that's great. Sorry I missed you last time. And yeah, I absolutely will be back to Korea uh, multiple times this year as well. So, And I look forward to meeting you the next time. So, and somebody else says, win cash shuffle in the Bitcoin.com wallet. Uh, less than 18 months, I guarantee that. So, uh, probably less than 18 weeks too, to be honest. That's so, great. Uh, we're working at it. So um, I guess that brings us to anything else you want to cover, or demo that you're extra excited about? Well, a lot of things that uh, we've been working on behind the scenes is uh, well, local Bitcoin, local yeah. Bitcoin .com, um, Very soon. Less and, than 18 months from and now. And the, the really cool thing about local Bitcoin .com is that we're using the new opcode, uh, the DSV opcode. Yeah, tell, tell us about how that to works. To do on-chain escrows. So we're never in control of any funds, and everything is on-chain, verifiable. Mm -hmm. So. We don't hold any funds, so and, and and the cool thing is that anyone can just go on a block explorer and verify that the money has been paid into the escrow address. And then That's we're cool. using the new uh, data sig verify opcode to um, to you determine who who can who can spend the output. So it's it's pretty awesome. How yeah. many laws are you breaking doing this? None. None. Yeah. No laws. But because with DSV, <laughs> what's cool about it is that the um, um, the escrow handler, which is us, have no knowledge about the transaction at all. We we don't we don't need to know anything about who gets the money and how much. Um, if you would do it in BTC, for example, in fact, then, we don't even have the ability to know unless they give us like exactly. the, the users themselves yeah. inform yeah. us. Yeah. So if you, if you would do an escrow in BTC, then the escrow will see who's who's getting paid and how much. So potentially, like in BTC. Uh, you can, the, like legally, um, BTC escrows are in could are facing could face more trouble. Yeah, oh, than, I think that's why we're seeing local bitcoins. Than B, BCH. Yeah, um, because the escrow has absolutely no knowledge mm. about the transaction. Yeah, exciting stuff, guys. Yeah, uh, we've got. Looks like Roger's replying to. Uh... Yeah, it's okay. What else do you have? <laughs> okay, <laughs> actually, next up we've got. So it has a Japanese keyboard on this thing. I got to switch the language. So. <laughs> uh, we've got some prizes. Uh, so I think last uh, last uh, video. Last week we promised yep. free stuff. So here's the so comments. We, we got a whole bunch of free yeah. stuff yeah. coming out. So we've got uh, first prize is going. Uh, it's a Ledger Nano plus a Bitcoin.com swag prize or swag box. Uh, we've got second place is a Keep Key. Third place is uh, Bitcoin collector coins and a BCH Gang T-shirt. And then we've got a fourth to ten place uh, BCH gang T-shirts. Uh, so I guess do, should we read from ten to one? One is I'm yeah, guessing I think ten to one. Ten yeah. to one. Okay, yeah. so we'll go number ten. We use some random website to like select random comments. Yeah, so, we like, use commentpicker.com. Commentpicker.com. Yeah. So there you go. So that way you can kind of be sure that we're not uh, picking our favorite comments. Yeah. Uh, so uh, number ten, we've got uh, Robert Urban Urbanidia. This might be Urbanidia. my favorite comment. 
BCH for the win with lots of exclamations. Congratulations, Robert. Yeah, lots yeah. Of so you got a BCH gang T-shirt coming your way. Uh, make sure you email us your contact and details and all your sizes to YouTube at Bitcoin.com, and uh, let us know your T-shirt size, and we'll uh, and of course provide your address, and we'll we'll send we'll some ship stuff it your out way. to you. Yeah. Uh, do you want to read this one there, Emil? Number nine. Yeah, sure. Uh, Brett Holt, um, grant me the uh, serenity to put my trust in the block, courage to confront the skeptics and wisdom to accelerate Bitcoin, accelerate, accelerate adoption BCH, and then a Bitcoin address. Smart Brett. He was, he was looking for a little tip there, but you know what? Yeah. We're, we're already giving you a shirt. You're getting some shirts. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Nice and try, Brett. Charles Kruger says, <laughs> I'm oh. super excited about Schnorr signatures. Privacy for the win. Mm. Actually, I think it's Charles Krieg Krieger. 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 Is he related to Freddy? <laughs> <laughs> so you're, he's Probably also not. getting a shirt. Uh, Charles, congratulations. YouTube at Bitcoin.com. Send us your size and address. Uh, number seven. German? No, German. German right? <laughs> We've got uh, Randy Mirandica. Uh, I love you, Bitcoin.com. Thanks for your inspiration. Also another little cash adder in there. A lot of people are trying to get some tips out of these YouTube comments. Send them a tip if you like it. So, <laughs> so uh, Randy, you're going to be getting a BCH Gang t-shirt as well. Congratulations. Uh, number Winner, fit, fitness elite says uh, in sixth place says Craig who? I think that's some guy that claims he has a law degree. You and he really hates DSV because he said it's illegal. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, we've got uh, Hastudi Deus. Uh, I never win anything, and I never expecting this must be. And I never expecting this must be mine. Just enjoy the video. Well, you won. Congratulations. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're killing it. Good work. Yeah, uh, what does he win? He's fifth place. Oh, he's in. Uh, Oh, he's still, still in a, a t-shirt. Okay, yeah. get a shirt. That's something. So, and uh, Emil, um, where are we now? A number, number four. four. Yeah. So number four, Dimi Bit Dimi, uh, Bitcoin Cash, real peer-to-peer -peer cash for the future. Keep building. Yeah, that's great. Okay, uh, that's the last BCH gang t-shirt goes yeah. to Dimi. Send uh, mm -hmm. send us your details. YouTube at Bitcoin.com. Mm -hmm. uh, next, next one's third place. They get a, a collector coins. Collector, collector and coins and a BCH shirt. shirt. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so I'll read this While one. While you read it, I'll grab the shirt so people can yeah. see Great. what they look like. So this yeah. one's uh, Ravi Kanth. BCH glory curve around the corner. Just push further for the betterment. Golden future of BCH. All caps. I like this guy's <laughs> style. Ravi, guess what? You're taking home some collector coins and a BCH gang t-shirt. Wear it with pride. Flip those coins. Have some fun. Congratulations. We're really happy for you, man. Yeah. And the next one is uh, Manuel de Fran Francisco Fabra. BCH gang. And his, his comment says, great. Great. Yeah, nice great simple. comment. Just That's great. Easy. You won. Congratulations. <laughs> you take home a keep key there, uh, Manuel de Francisco Fabre. That's an awesome name. Um, okay, Ledger Nano and Bitcoin.com swag box. Uh, this one's for the number one prize, Roger. Maybe you should take uh, take yeah, this I think one. This, I think we probably should have announced it <laughs> with this. So BCH gift cards, 10% off. Would love Bitcoin Cash. Yeah, uh, we're about to launch a whole zillion gift cards at 10% off. Uh, He's doing our promotion for us, and he just yeah. and he just won the... Uh... Yeah, so I guess we'll talk a little bit more <laughs> about it. So uh, Mokoto off-camera that we talk about a lot often, uh, he's going to be filling it. Right now we can fill the orders manually. We're working on trying to set it up so the orders get filled automatically, but gift cards for just about everything, 10% off. Albertsons, Safeway, Whole Foods, Domino's Pizza, Starbucks. Papa John's Pizza, California Pizza mm -hmm. Kitchen. So get your pizza with 10% off using Bitcoin Cash Starbucks. Like just oh, Airbnb, did we mention Airbnb? Airbnb, 10% yeah. yeah. off. Yeah, like it's like 180 different gift cards yeah. all at 10% off using Bitcoin Cash only. And uh, great comment there. I don't know. I guess this guy knew that it was coming. Or something. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Smart guy. Uh, but... Mm -hmm. uh, uh, yes, his name is eBusiness Worldwide. eBusiness Worldwide. Give us your shipping details and... Uh, Should we give out the URL for the, the, the dev site for that yet? <laughs> if you're feeling brave enough. Poor Makoto might be in, so in for I, a long if, weekend. If you're watching our video, you're probably a pretty hardcore supporter, so be aware that your order doesn't get filled instantly. Your order will be filled in about 24 hours because uh, we don't have it set up to be automatic yet, but the dev site for that is uh, bitcoincash-giftcards.com if you want to test it out today. Uh, and we're working on automating the whole thing and making it work super smoothly. But... Uh, you can give that a try at bitcoincash-giftcards.com. Makoto looks a little unhappy. <laughs> He's, like, He's oh, going to be busy filling those orders, Makoto. So uh, anyhow, 10% off like 180 different uh, gift cards for the U.S. So U.S. market currently. Mm. We'll see about offering other uh, other places uh, in the future, other countries. So anyhow, mm. great job, uh, eBusiness Worldwide. 
how did he know that we were building that? Is this is this somebody who works here? Or who? Uh, you you were you were teasing it out on some of the Telegram channels because awesome. there was a bit of an early beta there. Okay. That's yeah. Cool. We, we, Maybe we did, he snuck it yeah, in there. We, we did t tell some some of our friends. And yeah. Those <laughs> people might have told told their friends. That's okay. Yeah, we've been getting some you know an order or two a day from like the, our small closed beta test group. But should anyhow. we give any shout outs to the Twitch Twitch? Stream yeah, crowd. people are asking about uh, BCH ATM machines in Dubai. Well, uh, if we're going to do it, no, but we want you to do it. So the, the <laughs> Sharona, please do it. And then uh, First Bomb says, uh, well, it is on BitcoinCash.org, but BCH gets updated every six months. So keep watching developers, public meeting. Yeah, we should talk about that. The public meeting was today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was uh, one this morning. Yeah. Um, I called in. And Yep, and, I was uh, listening to you. We're so. discussing the uh, Schnorr signatures, yeah. and um, actually, some some good news that uh, Bitcoin uh, we are working with uh, one of the former ABC developers. We're working on extending the uh, the twenty five transaction limit. So currently, you can only send twenty five transactions in a row that are unconfirmed, uh, and a lot of wallets um, doesn't really explain to the users very well why they're hitting this limit or why it exists. Uh, and it's it's a, yes the big pain for for many users mm -hmm. and people on Twitter asked about the Rakuten wallet for those that know Rakuten is one of the biggest e-commerce websites in all of Japan um, and they're coming out with a crypto wallet so uh, I can say this there are more physical shops accepting Bitcoin Cash in Japan today than there are accepting BTC so that should be a pretty good indication right there as to what's happening here in Japan so yeah open mm -hmm. up our wallet head over to the shop tab you'll see that our map is growing exponentially uh, Marco pointed business, out Bitcoin add your business to yeah. It, so. yeah yeah very exciting stuff um, yeah. any other big ones from the uh, the Twitch crowd nope I think I think that's uh, about it for the the Twitch stuff so but uh, every Friday at about five p.m. ish in yeah. Japan uh, we'll try and be on Twitch live as well as YouTube so uh, <laughs> there we go and uh, I guess that's it for for this week we'll see everybody uh, next week yeah so yeah subscribe like share with a friend that's how we get the word out <laughs> and most importantly use bitcoin cash every chance you have instead of dollars euros or yen so see you all next week yeah <laughs> thank you, you. See you guys.